if you upgrade to iOS 18.1 or iPadOS 18.1 and you don't see Apple Intelligence, um, it might be that you live either in the EU or China. And in my case, I live in Spain, so I was very disappointed to not have it available. And I still wanted to try it out here on my iPad with a M2 chip. This tutorial works for iPhone and iPads, the ones which are listed here at the top. So let's see how, can we, how we can still try Apple Intelligence, even though we are in the EU or in China. So we have to go to um, settings, then on the top left, click on your name. Once you're there, click on media and purchases, click on view account, then click on country region. As you see here, it's Canada, it's already selected. In my case, it was Spain because I live in Spain, but this is the trick. You have to click on change country region wherever you are, wherever you are in the EU or, or China. Click on Canada. It's important to click uh, select Canada because only Canada allows to um, select none for payment method. And then just uh, type in your name, type in a random address in Canada and a uh, random phone number and click next. And that was it for the first part. I'm going to get back here because I already have it, but you click next. Okay. And now I show you the second part, what you have to do back to settings. We go to general, then we go to language and region. You don't have to change the region. As you can see, I'm here in Spain. It's no problem. I can still stay there. It still works. But up there at preferred languages, it has to be English US. So you have to click on add languages. Search for English, for example. And then you have to select where it says English US at the bottom here. All the other English ones you can you remove. And that's pretty much it. And then you go to Apple Intelligence and Siri. Then on the top here in the beginning, you will see this here. You will see join waitlist. You click on join waitlist. And then you have to wait. It can take up to 45 hours. In my case, it took only 20 minutes. But be prepared to wait a bit until you get a notification from the settings that it's available now and you can activate it. And once activated, it looks like this. And that's it. And now we can use uh, the new Siri. Let's see. Um, yeah, and oh, when you go to, you know, this is uh, notes and uh, I click, you see in the top here, this icon for the writing tools, it's now available. So it's absolutely amazing. The only thing is that um, one thing is with the subscriptions you have. Once you change the region of your Apple ID account, you can't manage your subscriptions anymore. For example, I have a ChatGPT subscription. It still works, but I cannot extend it here or cancel it. For that, you would need to change the region back to your original um, country where you actually live. Um, so this is just to try. You, you, when I go now to subscription, I won't see any subscriptions active because there aren't any active in this Canada region for me. That's just to keep in mind if you want to like manage your subscription, so to say. All right, enjoy this uh, new feature, even in Europe and China, before it finally comes out. It, they say no April, but who knows? All right, any questions, just post in the comment. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, if you like. All right, have a good one.